Hello everyone, I'm John. I'm here today to show you how to set up OverDrive, Hoopla, and Zinio on your Amazon Kindle Fire tablet that has access to the Amazon App Store. The first e-library service we are going to look at is OverDrive. OverDrive contains ebooks and e-audiobooks. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is click on the Amazon App Store. Then type OverDrive into the search box. The OverDrive app should pop right up. Click on it and then hit download. The app will begin to download. Next, click on open. Click on sign up since this is your first time using this service. Next, click on sign up using library card. Type Montclair into the search box, then click on go. Next, select BCCLS Montclair from the list. Now, enter your library card number and hit sign in. Select yes, since I'm assuming you're older than 13. Enter your name and email address. Though this is optional, by adding this information now, your account will sync across multiple devices. When you're finished, click on sign up next to, um, excuse me, next, click on add a title. Type Montclair into the search box and hit search. Then select BCCLS Montclair from the list. Next, select Bergen County Cooperative Library System. After that, you will see the OverDrive home screen. Click on where it says sign in. Enter your library card number one more time and you'll be finished with the sign up process. When finished, hit the sign in button. You will now see the home page of the OverDrive app. Here you can browse and search for ebooks and e audiobooks. I want to walk you through the process of borrowing a title with an OverDrive, which is easy, I promise. This menu here gives you browsing options. To open and close it, hit the menu button. To search for a particular title or author, click within the search box up here, type in what you're looking for, and click on the magnifying glass or hit enter. I'm going to scroll down now to show you the two types of title icons that are within OverDrive. You will see two types of icons for titles, one for ebooks and the other for e audiobooks. These icons come in two colors, black and gray. Black means the title is available right away. Gray indicates the title is currently unavailable and you can put a hold on it. When you click on a title with the gray icon, you will see the place a hold option. When you place a hold on a title, it will prompt you for your email address. That way you will get a notification via email once a title is available for you to check out. Let's check out this title here, which has a black icon. When you click on it, you will see borrow as an option since the ebook icon was black. Click on more to see details about the title. Here you can read a bit more about the title. If you scroll down, you will also see information about title availability. This is helpful to look at if you have to put the title on hold because it will tell you how many other people are ahead of you in the queue. This will give you an indication of how long it may take before a title is available for checkout. Let's now click on borrow to begin the checkout process. Now you will be prompted to go to the checkouts page. You can access this checkouts page at any time by clicking on the account, uh, account menu. <clears throat> you will see a sidebar called my account. Take note of your checkout limit, which is five. That means you can check out five titles at one time. Also, your hold limit is the same, meaning you could put five titles on hold at one time as well. To see what titles you have on hold, click on the holds option at the checkouts. Let's scroll down to see the checkout page better. I want to point out one more feature on this page before we check out this title. Take note of the renewals feature here. This is where you will re renew a title, if you like, after it has been checked out. This option becomes available within three days of the title's due date. Now let's check out this title. You will see two options on the checkout page, one to download and the other to read. Clicking on download adds a title to your OverDrive bookshelf and makes the title available offline, which means you can access it without an internet connection like when you're at the beach or driving in your car. The read option means that you'll be streaming the title within a web browser, meaning you need an internet connection to access the title. Most people choose download, so let's select that one. When you click on download, 
Sometimes you'll be prompted to choose a file format. If you see this prompt, always click on the EPUB eBooks option. Even the, excuse me, even though you are reading this eBook on a Kindle Fire tablet, still choose the EPUB book option. Take note though, by downloading the title to your device, it will take up some room on your hard drive, so be sure that you have enough available free space on your device. Let's now hit confirm and add to app to continue the checkout process. Clicking add to app will add the title to your bookshelf. To access your bookshelf and other options, click on the menu found in the upper left corner. This will open up a menu on the left side of your screen. Click on bookshelf. You are now taken to your bookshelf where you can view other titles that you currently have checked out. You will see the loan period below, which is 14 days for both ebooks and e audiobooks. Once that period is reached, the title will be automatically deleted from your device. If you like to return a title manually, press and hold down the cover of the title until you see a small pop up window with the option to return to library. To open the title, click on it and it will open within the OverDrive app. To see some viewing options, click anywhere on the screen, such as the center to bring up this menu as seen here on the right side. Clicking up top here will show you the table of contents and some other features. To return back to your bookshelf, click on the back arrow button up top. Clicking the menu found here in the upper left corner will open up that side menu where you can go back to the OverDrive app homepage by clicking on Bergen County Cooperative Library System. Voila, you're back at the homepage where you can continue browsing and searching for your next favorite book. Whenever you close the app and reopen it, and then go access one of your checked out titles, you'll be brought back to exactly where you left off at within your ebook or e audiobook. I demonstrated how to check out an ebook. Checking out an e audiobook is the same process, so just follow these steps when you find one that you like. When you make your way back to the home screen of your dice device, you will see that the OverDrive app has been added to your desktop. So let's review the basics of OverDrive. OverDrive contains ebooks and e audiobooks. You can check out five titles at one time. There's a 14 day lending period. Titles return automatically, and there's also a manual return and renewals option as well. There's a limited copies of titles, which means you might have to put a hold on a few things. And you can place five titles on hold at once. Now let's look at Hoopla, which contains ebooks, e audiobooks, comic books, music, and videos. The first thing you need to do is click on the Amazon App Store. Next, type Hoopla into the search box. When you begin typing Hoopla, the app should pop right up. Just click on it. Next, hit download. The app will begin to download. Once it is done, hit open. Now you'll see the Hoopla homepage. Go ahead and click on sign up since it's your first time using the service. Next, choose Montclair Public Library from the list or search for it if you don't see it listed. Next, enter your email address, then create a password for your new Hoopla account. Get out your Montclair Public Library card and enter the barcode number found on the back of your library card. After you typed in all the needed information, hit the sign up button. Now you are ready to roll. Just hit the done button to close the screen explaining that your checkout limit for the month is 20 items. <clears throat> now that you set up your account, you will see the Hoopla homepage. Take note of the menu options such as audiobooks, movies, music, and ebooks. You can search to look up a particular title or person. Let's check out one of the e audiobooks featured right here. Clicking on it will take you to the screen you see on the left where you can read more about the item. To borrow the item, click on the borrow button. After you hit borrow for certain types of items, you will see an option below the play slash read button, which says tap here to download. In order to access these types of items offline, meaning when you are not connected to the internet, you need to click on the down, this download option. For all other items that do not have this additional option, all you need to do is click on the play slash read button. If you want to go back and keep browsing, hit the back button on top. If you click on the play slash read button, the item will open within the Hoopla app, as seen here on the left side of the screen. If you hit the back button at any time and navigate to your home screen, you will see your list of checked out items. 
Take note of the due date under each item. Each item will automatically be deleted from your device once it hits this due date. If you want to manually return an item earlier than the due date, click on the title which will take you to the item record. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and you will see Return Now option. Pretty simple. I hope you have fun exploring all that Hoopla has to offer. When you close the app, you will notice that its icon has been added to your home screen. So let's review the basics of Hoopla. Hoopla contains ebooks, e audiobooks, comic books, music, and videos. You can check out 20 titles per month. The lending period for ebooks, e audiobooks, and comics is 21 days. For music, it's 7 days. For videos, it's 3 days. Titles automatically return, and there's also a manual return option as well. There's no renewals, just recheck out the item if you want to. Unlimited copies of titles, meaning there's no need to put items on hold. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use Zinio, which contains over 5,000 magazines from a wide range of publishers. The first thing to do on your Kindle Fire is to change your settings so that the Zinio app has permission to download and install. Navigate to your settings icon and click on it. Next, scroll down to the security settings. You need to turn on the option for apps from unknown sources by clicking and dragging it to the right. Next, Next, navigate back to your home screen and open up your web browser. Type in the URL rbdigital.com slash bccls. This will take you to the Zinio homepage you see here. Click on the link to create new account. Enter your library card number and hit next. Then enter in all the needed information such as name, email, and password. When done, hit create account. Now you're good to go and can download the Zinio app and begin using it. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click on the link to download the Kindle HD app. Hit the OK button, then click on Open. Next, hit Install and the Zinio app will begin to install. Once it is done, click on Open. Within the app, select Login. Enter the email address you used just before to create your account and hit Next. Now, enter the password you just created as well. Select Remember Me so that the app saves your login information. When ready, click Login. Now you'll see a blank screen since you don't have any magazines checked out. To begin downloading magazines, click on Check Out Magazines. This will take you out of the app and open a tab in your web browser displaying the Zinio website. Here you can browse for magazines or search for certain titles. Let's click on The Economist as an example. When you click on it, you will be seeing the most recent issue. To check out available back issues, scroll down and select whichever issue you like. Note, once you click on the cover, it will be added to the Zinio app. To check out the current issues, click on Checkout. After you check out any magazine, you will see a pop-up window as seen here on the right. Since you will be using the app, you do not need to click on Start Reading. Instead, click on Keep Browsing or just click anywhere outside this pop-up. Navigate back to your app and you should see the magazine that you just checked out. If they do not appear right away, click on the menu here, click on settings, then click on refresh library. When you go back to the screen, you should now see them all here. Whenever you see a cloud icon with a down arrow, that means you need to download the magazine to your device. If you do not see this icon, that means it has been downloaded already. Note that downloaded magazines take up sp storage space on your device so you may want to see how much space you have left before download, downloading a lot of magazines. When you download a magazine, you can access it with or without internet connection, and there is no return date. It is yours to keep and access within the Zinio app for as long as you like. Clicking on the cover will either download and open the magazine within the app, or simply open the magazine if it has been downloaded already, as seen here on the right. To advance to the next page, swipe left on the screen, and to go back a page, swipe right. When you click once on the screen, you will bring up a number of options where you could jump to a certain section, etc. To exit out of the screen, click on the back arrow and you'll be taken back to your checked out magazine lists, as seen here on the right. To manually delete a magazine, click on edit in the upper right corner. Next, tap the X to remove the title. 
If you want to see a list of which magazines you have deleted, click on Restore. When finished, hit Done in the upper right corner, and that will take you back to the screen displaying your checked out magazines. That's about it. Hope you find some good magazines. When you navigate back to your home screen, you will see that the Zinio app has been added. Let's review the basics of Zinio. So Zinio contains magazines. There's an unlimited number of checkouts. It's an unlimited lending period, and you can manually delete them whenever you like. All done. If you need any help using our eLibrary services, please do not hesitate to get in touch.